Welcome back to WWE 2K24, my GM mode. I am the host of Raw, Attack Slug. And in week number three, I now have enough logistical assets to purchase a new bit of business here. And of course, the concert hall makes the most sense. A hundred grand down the drain, unlocking those submission matches, but also having a larger arena to work shows in is very important. So now back to having zero assets and we have uh, 226 here in the bank, in the budget. And again, I don't want to change Gunta's deal there. So nobody else has a perk. That's going to be a thing to even worry about, which is fine. Let's try to book the show power cards, pre-match physio, health spa, and beginner's luck. Well, I could do that. The problem is that that's going to raise up my jobber guy, and that's going to cost way too much to raise up my jobber guy. That's, if it was like 50k or 35, okay, wait, 75 is just, it's up there, man. It's up there, not that worried about it. Now, rivalries. What do we got? Level 2 is our tag team, so we're going to have level 2 as the main event, obviously. We end the show with a banger match, as we should now. Last time it didn't work, though. Last time I said that, and it was a bad match. So I think putting back those tag team titles on the line, or perhaps tables, perhaps... Well, we'll look at stamina first before we even decide that. But I don't see how a level 2 rivalry would be bad here in the main event, but I've been wrong before, so there is always that. But stamina, all right, so trick there is at 44, which is a little concerning, but I think, yeah, let's make it for those tag team titles again, and we'll see, maybe, all right, maybe it's because everyone here is a level 5. That's their overall, because they're all low card guys, that affects the match, not the rivalry level. It's all right, they're all at 5 and not 10, 15, 20. So let's actually confirm this match, but we'll put it in the opening spot. So sorry, guys, you're going over here in the opening spot for those tag team titles because we want somebody like, I don't know, Gunta, who's a what, 20? Yes, versus Zane, who is 15 for that world title. They have excellent stamina, and that should be that rivalry for those fellows. But also, we do it now have Bailey and Charlotte, who are 15 15, and oh, Bailey's stamina is the concern. So let's not book those two. Let's instead have the good old fashioned call out promo from, let's see who has better mic skills, Charlotte Flair to Bailey on that. Then additionally, we did get the Braun Breaker and Adrian Buck rivalry because, fine, sure, do that. No one's going to care, but we're doing it, so it's here on the show. Their stamina is okay. And what was Triple H's goal here? Oh, rest my female tag champs this week. I mean, they're in a promo, but look, it is what it is, right? Gotta do what you gotta do. So, not gonna unlock what's the card for this week. Not gonna unlock the uh, contract duration Add four weeks to the contract card. Not happening. Unfortunate, it is what it is. But we can continue to run Nakamura and L.A. Knight. Yeah, which should be the feud dummy, but it's not. So, again, for that mid-card. So, title, title, title on a fine Wednesday of the week. Otherwise, charity from Clay Courtman, and perhaps a self-promo here from The Hugger. I mean, she's three, so I it's probably not going to get much. Honestly, it's better off doing charity, because why waste a spot on a promo where she's going to get zero on her popularity? She's already at 77. I think she'll be okay. Ding dong, hello. Which means our show cost right now is at 27 k and otherwise, we can't do anything else for our logistics because they are what they are, fog effects and all. And that's kind of the deal there. Nothing else here. I don't know. I don't want to scout anybody just yet. 
in terms of who I might need on the roster. Additionally, I will probably use this card tomorrow because then it'll double the cost from pay-per-view. I mean, e even then, it's, you don't have to buy the card, so it's not like it's a mandatory thing for Paul Heyman, but that is what it is. I'll, this one, I'll wait until uh, the show after the PLE. And then Physio, I don't need just yet, but perhaps on our main event show. Now, otherwise, should I book any gimmicks on this show, considering the current cost and the current stamina? So with the 44, I would say nah. With these two, maybe, but I just had them in a tables match last time, and it wasn't that good because the jobber won. Um, these two are 43, is a little rough there, and then these two are having a great, amazing amount of stamina, therefore, they should perhaps, oh, and they have a nice specialty here, so they can do, like, a tables, or they can do an extreme rules, and that would be, alright, so now I gotta look at both stamina cost, quality boost, and the ring XP gain. Now, Gunta is max level. Sammy is not. So, I'll just go, you know what? Let's play it safe and do a tables match here. It's fine. So, locking that one in. So, title, 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 and tables in the main event. That should be a good show here for a fine midweek bit of meadness. I do actually want to look at one more thing here in our career. And that's where things are currently at in both the money and in the budget and I regained some there in the budget but yeah I'm still trailing now in third place because of the beardness otherwise my challenges I should be kind of aiming for is fatal four ways and all right I'm good there and interference I haven't done yet I should though book 10 shots with a call out I'm doing one of those this week and, yes, perfect drama curve. We need those. If I lose again, buy the trophy, and not the amount of fans, that's just garbage, we know. So, locking in my show for this week. Confirm that 32 grand on that booking Monday Night Raw simulate. Tag, team, titles, and still three stars. It was good. Charity promo from Bailey. It was good. 5K. Love that. Braun Breaker, Adrian Buck going back at it one more time. And that's what should have happened yesterday. Two stars with the job guy. Charity from Clay Cortman. It was okay. The mid card, Nakamura and LA Knight. Whose game is it here in the reverb room? With L. A night. And this venue has that disco ball for pretty deadly. Yes, boy. Burning Hammer. Yeah. LA Knight calling for it. BFT on Nakamura. Is that it? One, two, three. Yeah. Dummy. Three and a half stars. The call out gets level one to level two for those two. And Gunta, Sami Zayn, tables match. Zayn retains four and a half star classic between those two. Meanwhile, on the blue brand, Teddy Long, we got Logan Paul and Tony in that IC title deal. It is a one, two, three, Tony. The Champion, four stars, amazing. Level two to level three. Randy Orton, your world champion, gets one on that self-promo. Mid-card, tag team, non-title. And Stark and Chance get the win, two stars over Davenport and Piper Niven. Austin Theory, A-Town, weak, is down on that promo. Creed versus MVP with a Giovanni Vinci running on Creed. And it is indeed ballin' MVP, two stars, mediocre. Main event, Alexa Bliss and Nobody Mina, then Tamina. For that title, it is indeed new champion Tamina, four stars. 
amazing. The Black and Gold, William Regal. We open with Kaiser and Dom versus Strowman and Gable. Non-title. It is Strowman and Gable. It was three stars. A shoosh, please. The call out from Balor to Otis was one to two. The mid card, Valhalla, Candice LeRae, Poison Pixie gets put out by Valhalla. Two stars, mediocre. Your NXT champion gets a week zero promo. The mid card, Eric Wolfgang versus Hudson and Otis is going to be Wolfgang and Eric get the win. It was two and a half. It was okay. And your main events. Rhea Ripley, Mitch and Mia Yim for that NXT Women's title. It is Rhea, Bloody, Ripley, four stars, amazing. And finally, in the Land of Extreme, Apollo Crews and Champa fight Gulak and Dijak. And it's going to be Champa and Crews. It was two stars. Mediocre, GG and Tiffy Time. It is going to be GG. All day, Hell's Favorite, two stars on that rivalry. We now have Baszler and Zia Lee going at it here one-on-one. -on -one, and Baszler gets the win, as she should. Three stars on that rivalry. And your main event, R-Truth. Ron the Truth Killings versus Big Bronson Reed for that ECW title. And that's what's up. Three and a half stars. Which means we had good booking on our show. Amazing booking on SmackDown. Good booking on NXT and good booking on ECW. So I would assume when they say get that perfect curve of drama, that would be getting the amazing booking. So yeah, I didn't get that. Well, you know. In the meanwhile, Raw got 56000 on our fan change and we made 34 kind of maintaining that budget and whatever else. Loved Raw. Looking forward to next week. L.A. Nikon. Payback on Nakamura. And Sami Zayn still the champion. So, with 56, SmackDown does 49. I beat them at least. Sorry, Teddy. They made 44. NXT does 42. I beat them. And they made 55. And Paul, Paul, Paul did 40,000 and it made 61 and Truth is still the champion. Hashtag ECW. Now, I was behind by about 12, 13K on the episode yesterday. So we'll see where can I at least get back into second place here. That's the question. What do we got? I'm now in first place. Ha ha. First place, Paul. I did that. So we are just barely, though, just barely smidgen in first place. 6,432 is the lead, which is not that much of a lead. So, got to be careful there. Moving towards hell and us hell. But Adrian Buck is concerned about his contract here. Bro, I brought you in to lose to Braun Breaker. So, another five weeks for 38k. Thanks for your work, but you weren't here for anything else besides losing to Braun Breaker. So, I wish you the best in your future endeavors. You're not making pay-per-view, apparently. Clay Cortman, what do you want? A bit of a problem. All right, a costume malfunction, and you don't know if you can make it to the show tonight. So, we can't have any nip slips here, Clay Cortman. Not a thing. So, 5K to fix it. I know a tailor for 20K. You know what? Let's do a rush job here and pay 5K for our job guy who cuts just out here cutting promos because, sure. Rush job, 5K, hope it holds together. I don't care. L.A. Knight, a master on the mic. I do realize, L.A. Knight, you're a master on the mic. I realize that entirely. So, you want to come out here and cut a promo on Nakamura this week? Next time? I'll see you to it. Yeah. The fans are going to love what I have to say. Yeah. And Trick Williams, he can't stand teaming with Andre Chase. He's sick of that. So, let's prove who is the problem on the team. Give me a single match, and I'll show him how it is done. No, I can't do it, Trick. I can't do it. We don't have any other tag teams, Trick. Relax. And so, tomorrow, next time, the go-home show for a Hell in a Cell. And Triple H says, rest my primary solo 
champions this week. But I can't do that. I'm a tax log. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. I'll see you then. And I'm out.